So this film is rated R. So does Mila Kunis get naked? No. This is my review of Friends with Benefits. Welcome to another episode of Film Trash Review, where we give you an honest review of a film and then give you a reviewer that is giving you a trash review. Today's film, Friends with Benefits. Oh my god, when are we going to stop making romantic comedies? Please. Seriously though, this film, even though, I mean, the title says it all, it is a romantic comedy. But this film tries really, really, really hard to break itself away from all of the other romantic comedies. And for that, thank God it did so. The film itself is actually, is actually in two parts. The first part of the film is making fun of every single romantic comedy cliche ever, ever. Yeah, yeah. The best thing that they did in this film was making that, that Jason Segal parody film film of a romantic comedy where Justin Timberlake points out all of the flaws in every romantic comedy. They lead you up for about 50 minutes and then they say, hey, Hollywood, this is how it's supposed to be done. I mean, it's still a romantic comedy and I'm not going to give anything away here, but we all know what's going to happen. With this in mind, I sat through the whole film and said, how are they going to do this? How are they going to make fun of these films? and yet still be one. If any film can do that, it was this film. It has a really good structure to it. Because of that, I really, really enjoyed the movie a lot more, knowing that the writers and the director took their time to separate themselves from everything else inside this genre and make their own film. Even though the title is as cheesy as they come, and the, the plot sounds just like any romantic comedy. The writers and the director tried their hardest to separate themselves from that. Uh, I have to say, hands down, this film is Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake by far was the best performance. This is basically his breakout role. This is, this is where he gets himself started. This is just like Will Ferrell and Elf. This is where Justin Timberlake will come out as a star and start making his own films. Looking and seeing that Will Gluck directed directed this film, who is the guy who directed Easy A, one of the best mainstream comedies of last year. This director has only done three films. He did Fired Up, which was absolutely horrible. And then he did Easy A, which got really good critical reviews, but I mean, but so did Horrible Bosses. And as I said last week, Horrible Bosses got a 6 out of 10. I did enjoy Easy A, and I have to say, I did enjoy Friends with Benefits. This film seems to try a little too hard to make fun of the romantic comedies while still being one. Friends with Benefits gets a 9 out of 10. It's one of the best comedies I've seen this year. If you're going to a film to to just laugh. Go and see Horrible Bosses or Bridesmaids. I mean, those were the great comedies of this summer so far. But, Friends with Benefits pulls off that romantic comedy niche and makes you laugh while doing it. I have to say, this is the best romantic comedy I have ever seen. To conclude on this, I gotta say, this film does have a stinger, so stay after the credits. It is worth it, I think. I mean, if you enjoyed the film at all while watching it, definitely stay after the credits and watch that little snippet that they have at the end. It's pretty funny and it's also another pun at romantic comedies. And I really enjoyed this film. I would say it's number one, if not number two, on my all-time romantic comedies. I gotta thank Will Gluck and I gotta thank Justin Timberlake for that. And that's my review of Friends with Benefits. And it's really cute and it's just, it's a lot of fun. And they're so funny, Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake. But it's just a dumb movie. I was expecting it to be better because I like Will Gluck, but I don't know why I like Will Gluck. Fired Up, I thought was great, but he literally puts those same exact cliches he complains about in the movie. I don't understand. This could be genius or it could be completely stupid. I honestly don't know, but it's pretty much, uh, it's stupid. It was dumb.